Hey, this video is about omega-3 fatty acids and your spinal health. Now, the truth is that omega-3 fatty acids is going to be essential for your overall health, but it is also very important to your spinal health, which is why I am putting so much um, effort into sharing this with you. Okay. There are literally thousands of scientific references for, um, showing why omega-3 fatty acids are necessary and showing the benefits of getting enough of this in your daily diet. Now, usually this is found in fish and pharmaceutical grade supplements, which is what I have here in my hands. Okay. So research shows that sufficient intake of omega-3 fatty acids is important for heart health, blood sugar regulation, brain health, emotional health, bone health, digestive health, immune health, and therefore cancer prevention. Okay. Why is omega-3 fatty acids so important to everything? Because omega-3s are essential nutrients. They actually help make up the outside, um, the cell membranes of, of every cell in your body. Okay. So if you want to be healthy, then you have to be made up of healthy cells. So if you don't get enough omega threes, then your cells aren't healthy and therefore you cannot be healthy. Okay. So what happens is the typical, uh, American diet, standard American diet, the acronym for that is sad and that's because it is sad. Okay. So the typical standard American diet is severely deficient in omega three fatty acids and it's really toxic in the overconsumption of omega-6 fatty acids. Um, omega-6 fatty acids can, uh, they tend to get like um, um, a wrap for being inflammatory and omega-3s get a wrap for being anti-inflammatory. And so what you really need is to get a balance between the two. Now, ideally for every two omega-6s that we consume, we need to be consuming one omega-3. But the way the standard American diet is, is because we eat so much like processed stuff, uh, we tend, and so much grains, we tend to get 20 omega-6s for every one omega-3. So we've got this huge imbalance. And what that does is it creates a ton of inflammation in our bodies. And inflammation is a major cause for almost, you know, all kinds of disease. Um, diabetes is inflammatory. Cancers are um, inflammatory. Arthritis um, is itis. Anything with itis is inflammation. Um, so some researchers believe that the majority of Americans are so deficient in omega-3 fatty acids that even if they did like a test um, of their blood, they won't even detect it. Okay. So research also indicates that being deficient in omega-3 fatty acids is a causal factor in many illnesses, including cancer, heart disease, depression, ADHD, diabetes, obesity, digestive problems, osteoporosis, skin problems, vision problems, and even developmental delays in newborns. So for most people, omega-6 fatty acids um, is probably about 11 times the consumption of what they're getting in omega-3s. So we, we really need to get that ratio much more closer to two to one. The best would be one to one, okay? Um, so let's see. Okay, so that kind of sums it up for you. Now, questions that I, I commonly get is, well, can I get enough omega-3 from back flaxseed? Nope, you can't because our body can't actually convert the kind of omegas that are in flax to enough omega-3. So you'll get some, but you're not going to meet your needs that way. We also, I mean, you could eat enough fish. Um, you want to like look at like a, like a fatty fish. This is made up of cold water fish, um, anchovy, wild anchovy, sardine, and mackerel oil. Um, so those, those are kinds of uh, more clean fish that are going to give you some of the more benefits of it. However, the issue is, is that if we ate enough fish to get our omega threes, then we would be toxic. This is one of the reasons why if you're pregnant, they say don't eat fish because you don't want all the mercury. Well, even if you aren't pregnant, you don't want to eat all the fish because you don't want all the mercury. So that means that we have to supplement and we have to supplement with something that actually excuse me, cleans all of that bad stuff out. So this is, um, Innate Choice is my favorite brand. I've done lots of cost analysis and it usually comes out to truly be the cheapest. Um, where it gets expensive is because you actually need so much of it. 
Um, I've done the math. I think it's like a dollar a day to get sufficient off of um, off of um, innate choices uh, omegas um, because it is it maintains like its natural triglyceride form and the ratio of DHA and EPA that you're supposed to get. So there's a couple of things that we need to look at in terms of, is this a good quality omega? Some omegas just have DHA and really low EPAs. I carry some of that in the office that, um, like, for example, uh, there's, uh, this Nordic, um, Nordic Naturals carries an omega gummy, uh, but it has, um, <sighs> 150 EPAs to 100 DHAs, which isn't a terrible ratio, but the amount like this, they say to have one fishy, um, this would be 36 fishies. But whenever I look at how much somebody actually needs, this is like a 15 day supply. So it's not, it's not as cost effective if you can get your kid just to swallow this, but that's more cost effective because what you need of this is um, half a teaspoon per, per every 48 pounds that's that's going to help you be sufficient if you're taking the capsules you need two capsules for every 48 um every 40 pounds so adults that usually looks at like one to two teaspoons or four to eight capsules a day uh, you don't have to take it all at once you can split those capsules up throughout the day or you can split it up it's just most important that you get it in and get sufficient